Stefan Negru, head of Aaron O'Driscoll. There was a stage in the season where they had three left-sided centre-backs playing back there, but Negru with that right foot brings a nice balance. And now down the left-hand side they go. Malloy, oh, what a goal that is! Gavin Malloy thrashes it into the bottom corner. Well, they've had the possession, they've had the pressure in the last few minutes. And Gavin Malloy just let fly here. Could not have caught it any cleaner. And as we hit 15 minutes, it's Shelburne who take the lead here at the RSC. Oh, it's a brilliant strike from Gavin Malloy, like you say. I thought he was going to swing it into the box, but he didn't. He put his foot through it. But it was great play again. Matt Smith was the one coming in off the line. Here we see Malloy just hammer it across the goalkeeper into the far corner. But as Matt Smith said earlier on, he's come into that little pocket, and he did. And he didn't deal her on a big gap outside, and Gavin Malloy just bombed down that left-hand side, and he just steps onto the ball. One thing in his mind, and smash it into the corner. That's a brilliant finish. Shells have been really good for the last five minutes. Waterford, a little bit on the ropes at the moment. Baptiste. They have an Irish connection himself. He was part of a famous Blackpool promotion to the Premier League. And he's lost out here. And Sean Boyd is in. Big chance. Big, big save that from Paul Martin. Well, it's a brilliant save in the goalkeeper. He's got to send a half hour real trouble there because he dallied on the ball, took too long. His head up and tried to play a good play for Sean Boyd. Press him down. He should finish here, Sean. He's in a great position either side of the keeper, but the keeper sticks out a leg. Makes a real good save. Brendan Clark to go down the middle towards Boyd again. Boyd bustling his way through. That was important from O'Keefe. Coil, great strike, sharp save. Boyd's offside here. It was a brilliant strike from Coil. It wasn't an easy one to hit, but he struck right through the ball, and the keeper gets across. But it's good play from Shells again. Sean Boyd initially one trying to work out and getting a shot away, and it doesn't. It bounces. See here, Boyd. He's trying to get a shot away, but he can't. But when it comes back out, it's a brilliant strike, isn't it? And Boyd's right in the keeper's line as well, and he gets across and makes a decent save, and Sean Boyd is offside as he smashes that one over the bar and the rebound. Could this be a big moment for the home team? Still over a quarter of the game to go. Patterson steps up, and it needed helping on its way. Couldn't have been certain if that was going to carry over of its own volition. Brendan Clark took no chances. Yeah, it's a comfortable side for Brendan Clark. His position is really good. It's a good strike from Patterson, but it's always decent for the goalkeeper. Good height for him. Just making sure he gets it up and over the crossbar. A minute and a half. Is there to be the latest of late drama here? Waterford still trying to work it. Here's Dara Power. Wilson's had a big game and for Shelburne defensively. Cantwell popping up on the left wing. They need delivery. Power with a ball around the back. Subawale heads it back in. Big penalty shout from the Waterford fans in the stand, more so than the Waterford players. Yeah, Subawale is the one that's close to him and he doesn't really appeal for it. Everyone was up on their feet in front of you. See here, the back to post. Subawale heads it back in. It's on the other side, isn't it? And it was hard Gavin to see it from that angle. Yeah, Gavin Malloy is the one that it hits. I'm not sure where it hits him, but. Well, for Shelburne at the outset, this was seen maybe as their biggest season in years, that most intriguing choice of new manager. And us against the world attitude that has taken them this far. Luke Byrne this week referenced one of his lowest days, which was a defeat to first division opposition at Atlone two years ago. Well, maybe that was a case of lessons learned. And look at the scenes of jubilation amongst the Shelburne staff, players and supporters. It's the end of the line for Waterford who must now pick themselves up and go through the playoffs in their bid to get back into the top flight. But for Shelburne, it's job done. A very, very professional performance and a brilliant goal in the end to win it. That was a brilliant goal, like you're saying. The performance was really, really good as well. You know, they, 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 you can see how, how they play. They're so well coached with Damien. That they're difficult to play against. They are very difficult to play against. They get real shape about the team when they lose the ball. They work really hard for each other at time. They created three or four good chances in the first half and probably should have put the game to bed. Waterford would be disappointed because they haven't performed to the level that we know they can perform to as well.